Here's example five of using some of the product formulas. So this one is uh, going to be an establish the identity type of problem. So the identity we want to establish is sine of theta plus sine of three theta, all divided by two sine two theta equals cosine of theta. Okay. So remember there were some guidelines to follow for establishing uh, identities and we talked about those a long time ago when we did those uh, videos. But um, the thing that you always, always, always want to do in every established identity problem, always do this, just start on one side. Pick one side, only work on just that side, leave the other side completely alone. Okay, and then that side you pick, uh, just manipulate it, uh, mess around with it, try to make it look like the other side. But always leave the other side completely alone. Okay, so that's what you always, always, always do, no exceptions. And then uh, what you almost always do is uh, start on the more complicated side. So if we look at these two sides here, uh, this side is definitely more complicated. Also, this side is just cosine of theta, so even if we wanted to start here, well, we just, just, you know, what are we going to do to make it look like that? It's just, it's crazy. There's really just nothing uh, that we can really do. I mean, it's, it's, it, technically speaking, it is possible, but it's just not at all obvious what to do first, or uh, at all, really. So definitely start on this side for this identity. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. Okay, so uh, sine of theta. plus sine of 3 theta, all divided by 2 sine 2 theta. Okay, now uh, we're talking about sum to product formulas, so let's maybe try and rewrite this. Uh, sine of theta plus sine of 3 theta. Let's see if we can use a sum to product formula to simplify that. Notice here we have a double angle in the denominator. So let's zoom in a little bit on this. So here we have 2 sine of 2 theta. We have a double angle uh, type of thing here. We could use a double angle formula to simplify, but let's not use it yet. Uh, if we have to later, we can, but maybe we won't need it. Okay, so let's hold off on that for now. And for now, let's just simplify the top. Sine of theta plus sine of 3 theta. So that's going to be uh, sine of something plus sine of something else. So we're going to use this formula here. Sine of alpha plus sine of beta is 2 sine alpha plus beta over 2 times the cosine of alpha minus beta over 2. Okay, so we're going to use that with uh, theta, okay, that's going to be our alpha, and then three theta is our beta, okay? Okay, so then this equals, uh, so just straight up, uh, forget about the denominator right now, uh, we'll come back to it later, let's uh, put that fraction bar there. So just looking at the top, sine of theta plus sine of three theta, that's sine of alpha plus sine of beta, so we're just gonna plug these uh, directly into the formula. So that's going to be two times the sine of alpha plus beta over two, so that's uh, theta plus three theta over two, times the cosine of alpha minus beta over two, that's theta minus three theta over two, okay? And then on the bottom we still, so this is a theta right here, uh, a theta right here also, and here, and here. And then on the bottom we still have two times the sine of two theta, okay? Now let's simplify a little bit. So we have uh, two on the top. Well, actually, this two on the top canceled with the two on the bottom, so that's good. Let's do that right now. And then here, what do we have? Uh, sine of theta plus three theta is four theta. Four theta divided by two is two theta. Theta minus three theta is negative two theta. Negative two theta divided by two is negative theta. Okay, so notice on the top we have sine of 2 theta, on the bottom we have sine of 2 theta, so they're going to cancel. That's wonderful. And now we're just left with cosine of negative theta. Okay, and remember, cosine is an even function, so what that directly means is that cosine of negative theta just uh, equals plain old cosine of plain old theta. Okay, so that's because cosine is an even function, so we talked a lot about that earlier. Uh, we've used that property several times. Um, even in some of the more recent videos too. So cosine of negative theta is cosine of theta, and if we go back up to our uh, identity here, that's exactly what we wanted to establish, is that this mess over here equals cosine of theta, and that's exactly what we got right here. Okay, So that's it for uh, this established identity problem. Let's zoom out and recap what happened real quick. So here we have sine of something plus sine of something else, so we just use that sum to product formula just to see if that gets us anywhere. Leave the bottom alone, don't use the double angle formula, maybe we won't need it, and it turns out we didn't. So then when we use the sum to product formula, we end up with uh, two sine of two theta times a cosine of negative theta. This two on top cancel with the two on the bottom. The sine of two theta on top cancel with sine of two theta on the bottom. Cosine of negative theta uh, is just plain old cosine of theta because cosine is an, it's an even function. So cosine of negative theta is cosine of theta, and that's pretty much it.
Okay. So that's example five of using sum to product formulas.